boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. So good to see you this week. I hope you had a pleasant week and that you are now ready to hear God's word. Uh, we'll just open in a word of prayer and uh, I'll ask Auntie Lulu mm -hmm. just to pray for us. All right, shall we pray? Jesus loves me. I love Jesus. Our dear, kind and heavenly Father, we come before your throne of mercy this morning, thanking you for this day and for the gift of life. Lord, even as we sit at your feet and as we hear what you have prepared for us, we ask that you might open up our hearts and may our ears be attentive and may we learn more about the Ten Commandments and bring glory to your name. Mm -hmm. Please be with Auntie Anne and be with myself, Auntie Lulu, and be with us during this whole lesson. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, it's a lovely thing to worship the Lord. And today we have two songs in which we will worship the Lord. One of them talks about the Word of God. And we've always been looking at the Word. We look at the Word of God every Sunday morning. And this song is the Word of God is a lamp and to a, a light. A lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. It's taken from the Psalms. So, boys and girls, shall we stand and sing this song together? Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Thy word is a lamp, thy word is a light, thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Thy word is a lamp, thy word is a light, thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So boys and girls, if you can tell me, I gave away part of the answer. I meant to ask, where does this song come from? So if you are able to tell me the book, the chapter and the verse, let me know. Okay, so where does the song come from? What other song can we sing? Um, we can sing a song about um, a short man from the Bible. Maybe he was like me. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can sing about Zacchaeus, who was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. But something unique about Zacchaeus is he really wanted to see the Lord and Savior and he climbed up a tree mm -hmm. just so that he could see Jesus. And as we will look further and as the song would tell, he had a surprise that made him very happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll sing about we little Zacchaeus, okay? Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. I hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. And if you are really to like Zacchaeus, there's good news for you. And even the tall ones. So let's listen to what God has to say. So, boys and girls, who can remember what we learned last week? Auntie Anne, can you remember? Yes, I can. 
Was it, you shall not commit adultery? Yes. <laughs> well done. That is what we looked at last week and I hope you haven't forgotten all the important lessons that we learned. Okay, we're now going to move to the, this is now number what? Eight? Mm -hmm. Commandment. Yes, the Eighth Commandment. Boys and girls, we have come so far and I hope you can still recall the commandments from the first one. So, commandment number eight is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Very short four words. Auntie Anne, could you please read for us? Yes, Exodus chapter 20, verse 15. You shall not steal. Thank you. You shall not steal. Now, boys and girls, I'm sure we have, we know what stealing is. It's mm -hmm. basically getting something that does not belong to you without asking. Mm -hmm. Okay, boys and girls? So, when you're at home and you want to use your, your brother's, maybe your brother's toys, and he's not around, or maybe he's around, and you go and you get, you take them to school, then maybe you give to one of your friends, but you did not ask for the toy. That is stealing. So before you go and you get your brother's toys, you need to ask him first and mm -hmm. then give it to him. So Auntie Anne, do you know mm -hmm. any other example that we can give about stealing? Oh yes, our oh, boys and girls, they still in very very many ways mm. sometimes you steal pencils and mm. uh, uh, or rubbers from your friends sometimes you steal food and it reminds me of a song that we often sing how many of you boys and girls know the song johnny johnny yes papa eating sugar no papa that was stealing and coupled to that he was even lying so, boys and girls, stealing food like Johnny Johnny, you know, eating sugar and refusing, I haven't taken that. That, dear boys and girls, is stealing. Mm. Thank you so much, Auntie Anne. Yes, and sometimes boys and girls, we don't realize, but on a Sunday morning, when mom and daddy give you something to go and put in the tithe and offering bag, when you don't put it and when you use that money for something else, ice that cream, ice lolly. Ice cream and ice lollies, yes. That is stealing boys and girls. That is stealing from the Lord mm. because that is money that was set aside to be given to the church for use of God's work and you are getting that money to use for yourself. Mm. Boys and girls, that is wrong and that is also stealing. Mm. Now, boys and girls, the Bible tells us that we should not steal, and it is a commandment. So it is something very big that we need to follow. We should not steal. Stealing is wrong, okay? And instead of stealing, some reasons that make us steal is because we are lazy, and maybe as one of the commandments that we look at, maybe we're looking at what other people have, and we want those things for ourselves, and then we do the wrong things to get those things. Mm. But no, boys and girls, there is a right way to get what we want. We might not always get everything, mm. but we can work to get at least the things that we need mm -hmm. and a few things that we want. It's not wrong to want things, but it is important to use the right means to get them. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, instead of stealing, we need to work hard. Mm -hmm. The Bible in several accounts and verses talks about work. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've uh, read the verse in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 8, which tells us to go to the ant and observe how the ant works. It is faithful in its work and it stores up for the hard times because it puts its hands to work. And that is an example that the Bible gives us to follow. Okay, mm -hmm. boys and girls? So we need to work. If it means going to mommy and daddy and, well, let's not mistake 
mistake work with chores yes okay, so <laughs> no, no, we should not do that boys uh-huh. and girls we should not do that we should not mistake work with chores there are things that you have to do in the house mm-hmm. like washing the plates setting the table yes you sweeping the floors yes and mopping them and making your beds yes and putting your toys away mhm mhm but maybe you can ask mom and daddy if they have a pile of papers and you want to help them sort out you mm-hmm. can ask mommy and daddy could i help you do this and then could you help me with a little something maybe there is a shirt that i want or there is something that i need mm-hmm. could i help you with this and you buy those things for me mm-hmm. those are examples of work so boys and girls you should not go and ask mommy and daddy to pay you for washing the dishes don't mm-hmm. ask them to pay you for setting the table no 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah some of the things like boys and girls like auntie lulu has said you can do and your parents will appreciate the work that you are doing and by that you get a little allowance that is good because i remember mm-hmm. in ephesians okay the bible says he uh who was stealing should steal no longer mm-hmm. but work with his hands mm-hmm. so work is very important mm-hmm. we must no longer steal with our hands mm-hmm. but we should work instead we should not steal mm-hmm. but work so boys and girls work is the mm-hmm. to stealing indeed mm-hmm. and that's Ephesians chapter 4 verse 28 Would you like to read it and the other? Yes. The Bible reads, let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Thank you so much and the other. Yes. So as Auntie Anne has said, we need to work. And here it has said let him who stole steal no longer. So maybe boys and girls you are sitting and you're thinking, "Oh, I've stolen before. I got that pencil, that rubber, I got that food." Of course, you can't replace the food that you've eaten, but you can return the things that you can. If you got your friend's pencil and you left them without anything, you can take it back to them and say, "Oh, sorry, I got your pencil. This belongs to you. Here you go." And this is now the reason why we're singing about mm-hmm. Zacchaeus is a man who was known for getting extra money from people. He was a tax collector. Yes. yes. And now when Jesus came to his house, I I guess I can say it's safe that he felt a conviction within himself and told Jesus something very interesting. Mm-hmm. He said that he was going to pay back all that he has he had stolen up to four times yes up to four times up to four times boys and girls so that could, that shows a repentant heart mm. zacchaeus had stolen yes but he made amends and he corrected his mistakes mm. and if you feel like you know if you know that you have stolen rather you can make amends you can do something about it and you can give back those things that you have stolen and ask God to forgive you and he forgives freely to mm. all those who come to him in repentance mm-hmm. okay and let's also remember to say sorry to God yes. if we have stolen from him those tithes those offerings mm-hmm. that which belongs to him we must apologize and we must make sure that we give our tithes and offerings mm-hmm. and the and is there anything else that you can say well i think a lot has been said right now and we should think about these things boys and girls let us not steal do not steal but work hard work hard at school work hard at home work hard at play be good boys and girls and do not steal all right thank you so we shall memorize exodus chapter 20 verse 15 is it 
Yes. Okay. So Exodus chapter 20 verse 15. Okay. Exodus chapter 20 verse 15. You shall not steal. Exodus chapter 20 verse 15. You shall not steal. Exodus chapter 20 verse 15. You shall not steal. Okay. Boys and girls, this is something to think about and remember if you've gotten things that are not yours, return them, say sorry and love your neighbors. So for now we're going to say bye. bye.